trusting yourself and what Alex Honnold meant when he said that it's not a big deal. So for those of you who don't know, Alex Honnold is a very famous rock climber. He climbs lots of cliffs, lots of mountains, and maybe one of his most biggest achievements is free climbing Yosemite's Half Dome, or sorry, El Capitan. It's a sheer cliff and he climbed it without any ropes. He practiced a lot beforehand with ropes, but he climbed without ropes, which is a lot faster. So the thing is, when someone asked him about, aren't you scared about climbing these things? His response is, why would I be scared? It's like you crossing the road. Are you scared when you cross the road? So yeah, crossing a road, there's cars and all that stuff, but we don't think much about it. We just have to cross the road. Now, if you're in like Asia, like India or Vietnam, then yeah, maybe think a little bit more. Uh, but in general, we don't worry about crossing the road because we're fine, right? But now you think about climbing, like what if you slip, what if this or that? He's so good at his craft that he's not gonna slip. He's not gonna do all that. In the same way, we could be crossing the road and if we slip, even though it's dry, nothing on the road, we could get hit by a car, right? That could happen, but we don't think about it. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, typing is something I learned in school, and I could touch type, that is not using my eyes, and I type pretty well, pretty fast, over 100 words per minute on the test. And the thing is, I could type without making mistakes, right? Like, when I type in stuff, I don't have to look. I'm just going to type it in, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be what I meant to type. There's not going to be any mistakes there. Thinking, is that similar to what Alex Honnold meant? There's things we do that maybe, theoretically, other people may think it's hard or take skill, but we're like, yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, you expect when you move your muscle that it moves. Tell your hand, show a high five. It does a high five. Thumbs up. The thumb moves up, right? I mean, it just does. We control our body. Alex Hanna controls his body, right? There's obviously uncertainties in the world around us, but none of us go out thinking, oh, I might slip. There might be something you didn't see and just slip and fall. It's always possible, right? The ground could give out. I mean, who knows? But we're confident it won't. Or rather, we don't think about it. I think that's the thing. It's not so much he's confident, but that he doesn't think about the fear. I think that's one key lesson learned, right? See, you may be good at something, I may be good at something, but if you always think about what could go wrong, you always have this fear, then you just can't be great at it, right? Our daughter is learning how to walk, and she walks pretty well. She is strong enough to walk. She could balance herself, she could stand up, but she won't walk without holding her hands. It's not an issue of her muscles, not an issue of balance, it's an issue of confidence. And the main thing is being afraid. And isn't it interesting that you have a little kid who is barely over one who is already afraid? Right? I mean, how does that make any sense? Where do they learn this thing called fear? But I guess it's just innate. And it's when you want to do something. It's not just about training. I mean, he trained tremendously to climb you know, somebody's a Capitan without ropes. We may train, but the, at the end, after you've done all your training, you have the confidence you know you can do it. What you gotta do is just not think about the fear. Not think about what could go wrong. Not think about all the ways you can mess up. See, I would say it's not so much about confidence. Because confidence makes it sound like you're cocky. You're a know-it-all. Arrogant. If you want to see you fail. It's about not being afraid of fear. And you think back to the, I mean, Norwegians, Vikings, whatever persons you want to say, fierce fighters Romans never conquered, because they weren't afraid of anything. They were only afraid of one thing, afraid of the sky falling down. And that's the same way we got to be, right? It, improves your ability to do stuff if you're not afraid. How does fear help you? Right? I think sometimes it does. You want to be afraid of getting burned when you're 
air fire. But it's something we could do, something we need to do. Fear oftentimes doesn't help. How do you get rid of it? I would say looking at people who do highlighting, when they walk across ropes across very high places. You get rid of it by practicing. By practicing, not thinking about it. Using other ways. I don't know how easy it is. I don't think I'm great at it. But I think that's a key that some of us need to work towards to live a better life.